In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Kosas Dream Beam Sunscreen. This is a newer launch. I went ahead and I did purchase this myself. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale and I, as soon as I saw that this was launched, I was immediately intrigued. I love so many Kosas products, so I was extremely excited for this. This is supposed to be a radiant sunscreen. It doesn't have a tint, but just getting into the details, this retails for $40, which I feel like is somewhat pricey for a sunscreen. This has 1.4 fluid ounces, so kind of your standard amount. The packaging is adorable. I think this would be great for traveling. It's pretty small packaging, so amazing again for traveling. You could just toss it in your purse. I'm super excited. I'm going to be taking this with me to my Florida vacation that is coming up in the next few weeks. And spoiler alert, I love this. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I've just been really, really enjoying it. This is a mineral sunscreen. It has SPF 40. This is a clean, silicone-free, comfy mineral sunscreen packed with ceramides and peptides to moisturize, visibly smooth and brighten, and create the dreamiest makeup base. And again, it has peptides and ceramides to help with plumping, smoothing, and helping to improve skin suppleness. It has hyaluronic acid and a lantoin to hydrate and soothe the skin. As always, for Kosas products, they're vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and this is recyclable packaging. They also mention that this is reef safe. They say SPF 40 meets dreamy makeup prep. This mineral sunscreen melts into the skin, so makeup applies smoothly and seamlessly. It visibly brightens, defends against signs of aging, and hydrates and soothes for softer, more supple skin. It is water resistant, safe for sensitive skin, hypoallergenic and non-acnogenic, 21.7% non-nano zinc oxide to provide an optimal physical SPF barrier. It has a peachy pink hue to help neutralize zinc oxide's natural bluish white color. So when I did like a YouTube short on this where I demoed this, some people were asking if this comes in other shades. And actually, this doesn't technically come in any shades at all. This is not a tinted sunscreen. This just has a peachy pink hue, which I feel like on my skin tone, when I do put this on, it does kind of look like you're applying a tint when you first apply it, just because the peachy pink hue happens to be close-ish to my skin tone, or just kind of looks like that. But when you blend it out, it's not gonna be providing a tint, but the peachy pink hue helps with minimizing the white cast. Everyone's been talking about the Kosas Dream Beam sunscreen, so I knew I had to try it. This has SPF 40. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's packed with ceramides and peptides to moisturize, smooth, and also brighten the skin. It has a peachy pink hue, which helps to prevent that white cast. It's non comedogenic It's supposed to be safe for sensitive and also acne-prone skin. This feels really nice on the skin. It's not heavy, not sticky, not tacky at all. It gives the skin a really healthy, moisturized look. I think I think this would also work great as a makeup base. I am somebody who is prone to breakouts, but this has not caused me to break out at all. So this is a yes for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and demo it. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, so, so cute. A lot of times I will just do this on my face. Normally I would just apply it to my fingers first, but anyway, this feels so nice on the skin. It's really smooth going on. Just feels kind of like you're applying a moisturizer and it just blends into the skin so beautifully, so seamlessly. It feels really moisturizing when you're first putting it on, but then it will kind of like dry down and it just feels really nice and lightweight. And as you can probably see now, it's giving the skin such a beautiful, radiant, healthy looking glow. And I absolutely love it. And it just blends into your skin so well. And I Part of me thinks it like might slightly, just slightly even out the skin tone, but also it kind of doesn't really, because again, it doesn't have a tint. Um, that peachy pink hue really is just gonna, makes it so there's no white cast, which is awesome. And I, like I said, I have been testing this out for a few weeks now, and this has not caused any breakouts for me, and I am acne prone. So if a sunscreen doesn't work for me, I will normally know pretty quickly because I might get some breakouts. But with this, I haven't gotten any breakouts, and I just love it. It's been my go-to sunscreen for days when I don't want to use a tinted sunscreen, days where I just want to protect my skin, but I don't want to do makeup. Um, I love this. It's so, so good. It really did not disappoint. I do wish it was a little bit more affordable because I feel like $40 is pretty up there for just like a little 
face sunscreen. It's very nice though, I will say. And I love radiant finishes. I feel like there aren't like, I mean, there definitely are quite a few sunscreens out there that have like radiant finishes, but they're not all mineral based. So it's really nice to see a mineral based sunscreen that just gives the skin a really gorgeous, luminous glow. And I feel like it gives the skin a healthy look without it looking like overly radiant, if that makes sense. Like it's not highlightery at all. It just gives the skin a really beautiful look and as you can probably see too um, versus when I just put it on and now, now that it's kind of like settled into my skin a little bit more, sink into my skin a little bit more, I feel like it looks less intensely like shiny as compared to when I first applied it, but it just looks so pretty on the skin and it feels amazing on the skin. I feel like it can be really hard to find a mineral sunscreen that doesn't leave any bit of white cast so finding something like this where it's a mineral sunscreen and it doesn't leave a white cast is really great also something to note is that this does not pill at all if you ever have issues with sunscreen pilling when you're applying it this does not pill at all and you can rub and rub even as you just continue to rub it into your skin the sunscreen is not going to pill so that's really really nice as well i also liked seeing that this is water resistant and what as well it's not waterproof but water resistant so I think that that is helpful just for everyday wear. This is amazing. I can see myself wanting to repurchase this again and again. It's just one that I have been really, really enjoying. Personally, do not have a whole lot of non-tinted sunscreen favorites, so it's really nice to have another one that I do really enjoy and just want to use on a daily basis. You could really just use this as your moisturizer step during the day. It definitely gives the skin some nice moisture without it feeling heavy. It still feels lightweight, but still does a good job at moisturizing your skin. So you could totally use it in place of a moisturizer in the morning if you want to. So I've been loving this. I definitely recommend it. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I will list it and link it in the description box below. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video.